ओके सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल और इफ यू डिड नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल जस्ट गो टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब मेक श्योर दैट क्लिक ऑन दिस बेल बटन एंड चेक मार्क दिस सेंड मी ऑल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दिस चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सेव बाय डूइंग दिस यू विल गेट एवरी सिंगल अपडेट ऑफ माई न्यू वीडियोज ऑल्सो विजिट माई चैनल आई एम श्योर दैट यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट मोर कूल स्टफ ऑन माई चैनल In this video we are going to create a creative logo design in Photoshop CC 2017 you can create this logo in any version of Photoshop it will be fun so let's jump in Photoshop Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create a logo design as you can see that I have created this logo so we will try to make as similar as this as it is uh, because the first try is always good. So let's start our work. Go to file new we will create a new document. The size of the document is 920 by 1080 pixels and the background contents are transparent and we will click on uh, create. That's it. uh size doesn't matter so don't worry about the size let me just hide this task bar because i don't like this one so that's great now we will start our work so first of all we need to uh create a circle so we'll go to shape tool and we'll select our eclipse tool now press shift and holding your shift key we'll drag this circle on our canvas uh, as bigger as you can uh, possibly uh, like like this one and then we'll uh, close the side panel and uh, just you can see that we have a copy of this so we'll change the color i uh, will change it to any color you can give it so i would like to go with uh, this color it's nice and cool now we'll create a copy of this and now we'll press uh, uh, the upper move tool move key and before doing this we'll just change the top uh, uh, color so we'll make it a little uh, like this one great now we'll move this to the pressing shift key and right key and then shift key and then right key uh, left key sorry uh, shift key and left key so try to make it not so much thicker but uh, not so much smaller too and i think i am fine with that uh maybe you can make it more thick but i think it's fine here so i will press uh, we will this uh, first we will name this as a uh, shape 1 and then uh shape 2 so we'll copy this shape 1 layer two uh, two times okay after getting this copy uh now we'll press control and click on this shape to uh, thumbnail you will see that it will create a selection around our shape now we'll select our shape one copy layer and press control shift and j uh you can see that it will not work just but but why because we didn't uh, make it uh, rasterized now we'll press control shift and j and uh, you can see that if we hide this top one you will see that this one is separate and this one is separate So our basic work is done. We will uh, delete this uh, top layer one and delete this shape uh, two layer also. And now we have the original one and the uh, this one. So we we'll name this as a uh, part, and this is shape one. So now we we'll change the uh, color of the part part. So we'll press Alt plus Backspace to fill it with color. So this is our color, and now uh, we will move this inside that circle where it looks nice. So we will create three copies of it. We we'll press Control J and align them according to the uh, size or we can say sides. So that's nice. Now uh, close this side panel. Uh, sorry, uh, hide this and check where it looks nice. So we'll move it a little topward like this. and we press control j and we will create another copy 
like this and you will see that it looks much better but doing this we'll press shift and we'll move all of these shape layers uh, like this actually we are moving all of these layers that's why it looks like uh, it is moving one layer so I think we are fine with uh, this one but you can see that these edges are going outside so with first particle we press ctrl T then right click and click on warp and then simply just make it inside uh, inside this okay that's nice now it looks much better now press check mark and you will see that we have a nice curved design so now we want to cut this from the background back uh, back image sorry uh, what we'll do is I will simply just create a copy to keep a backup of this close this one and now we'll press ctrl and click on this part it will create a selection then press shift alt at same time and then click on this one and click on the third one too so it will create a selection uh, a very nice selection now what we'll do is we'll select our shape one copy layer and right click on it and rasterize this now press ctrl shift and j now press v and uh, let's just uh, turn off this or uh, turn off these layers and you will see that we have a nice cutted area but uh, as you can see that we will not do that thing uh, as you can see that we have this uh, curved thing so we'll turn on these three party particle layers and make them on uh, soft light or overlay or whatever color you like uh, you would like to give this or press G and we'll hide these layers for the time being and now we have these lines now we'll go to this effects and click on blending options now what we'll do is we'll just click on inner, sh inner shadow sorry and uh, make sure that you are working with nice layer so I think we are fine with this layer uh, uh, yes we have selected this layer now we'll click on uh, effects and blending options and from blending options we'll click on inner shadow that's nice now the basic work is started and uh, just increase the uh, opacity increase the size as you can see that much better like this not so much just a little bit we don't want to give it a big trouble so now we'll increase the distance a little bit uh, not so much and increase the size now it looks much better these are the settings 16 size and the distance is 4 angle is 90 degrees and uh, multiply opacity is 66 percent 86 percent sorry you can increase or decrease it's your choice uh, i think we should go with 82 and now we'll go to drop shadow okay so drop shadow tool gives a massive look don't worry about that just uh, make it a little uh, smaller like this change the blend mode to white change the multiply to normal or uh, you can make it screen and then increase the size you can see that it looks much better but uh, we want to make it uh, centerized like this uh, now it looks much better so now we have the size here and uh, we have the choke here also a spread here it looks nice now we'll change it to overlay or uh, soft light or overlay it's your choice make it 100 percent and now you can increase the size you can see that but we'll not increase too much because it will not look like shine on the edge so i think we are fine with this one copy this and you will see that it increase the uh, style so that's it you can make two copies of this or not but i think we are fine with the single one and click on ok that's a really really great now what we'll do is we want to give uh, feel it like uh, it is the same thing so what we'll do is we'll click on this shape one and uh, click on blending options go to uh, gradient tool 
and uh, change this uh, linear to radial and angle to 0 degrees then uh, change this uh, color mode now we'll use our desired color so we'll select this one select the color base color and the dark color from it like this click on ok for the basic concept ok so don't worry about that So play with the gradients and uh, you will find a lot more cool results here. I think we are fine with this one. Click on OK. And uh, I am fine with the results. But let's change the color to a little blue because I am not sat satisfying with the color. So I think it's nice here and great. So click on OK. And I think this uh, edge is so much heavy so we'll go to this and click on inner shadows from the inner shadows we'll make it oops sorry this is the shadow drop shadows we'll make it uh, spread to about like a little bit not so much and now it looks massive click on ok and this is the thing now the basic thing is done the gradient is done now what what thing is left is uh, uh, giving some uh, color shadows we can say that uh, whatever it is so uh, this is the background and this is the foreground so this is the color so how we can make it make it a little uh, soft light oh sorry we can make it uh, normal but uh, we will change this one to uh, overlay or any color you would like to give so I think I am fine with this color but you can see that these edges are going outside from this so we'll press control or click here overall uh, layer we can see that from here you can see that and uh, click on this and click uh, press D from your keyboard sorry my keyboard is not working so make your phone color as black and click on this you can see that all the edges are cut it out very nicely you can use this one or not again it's uh, depends on your choice so I think we should not choose that I think I'm fine with this one so press shift select all of these uh, layers and hide them sorry and select this one this is the basic overall uh, layer so we'll click and go to filter noise and add noise from the add noise you can see that it's so much massive so we'll make it a little uh, smaller detail like uh, 4 and change the monochromatics and uh, I think I am fine with this Gaussian and monochromatic checked maybe you can increase this to uh, 5 so click on ok press ctrl D and you can see that we have a massive background so this is the basic thing and i am fine with this one now what we'll do is uh we should uh give a little shine to this because it's not looking so much nice so create a new layer and select your uh, eclipse tool and we'll make it like this and uh, let's fill it with white color go to filter blur and Gaussian blur make it as much blur as you can not so much just a little bit like this and uh, yes now we'll make it overlay soft light whatever you like to give and uh, that's nice okay now you have two type of logo designs uh, like uh, without uh, these lines uh, you can use it like this one this is the basic uh, logo design and if you want to use that you can use it like this both looks nice now let's create background quickly so we will not waste our time so much so go to gradient we'll select the gradient tool select your background I would like to go with uh, some uh, blue color 
background not so much but little bit and this color should be like this and uh, click on ok hit ok reverse make it uh, zero and change the layer style to radial and make it like this I am fine with this one so press V select all of your logo and we'll move to the top a little bit and let's give it a little shadow so press brush tool size it up a little bit and then click on this press ctrl T size it down and that's nice make it soft light and the logo is ready you can put your text uh, your text and there we go so this is the basic logo design and uh, I hope you like this you can increase the sides and uh, increase these uh, things a little bit so you can make it more funky and more nice so uh, enough uh, we have wasted lots of time so that's it I hope you like this video and if you like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, we will meet in our next video we will meet in our next video never stop and keep learning